So this gospel passage that we have for this morning shouldn't be all that unfamiliar to many of us. It's, it's a passage that we've often heard many a time around this time of the year, right before Christmas. The story of the angel coming to Joseph in a dream to let him know about Mary and the child, Jesus. And yet for as, as familiar as that story may be, it is also one that we have to acknowledge is kind of distant in our understanding too. You see, the things that Joseph may have been overly anxious about may not necessarily be the things that we in our time would be overly anxious about. Sure, we can get into some of the social dynamics of some of that. We could talk about how in Joseph's time, Mary would have been seen as an outcast in her community, would have not had the same kind of social status, or, or even been allowed to be part of a family system when folks found out that she was with child and not married. And yet, in our world today, it's not all that uncommon an experience for someone to not be married and, and have children. And more than that, it would also be grossly inappropriate for us to cast judgments or dispersions on such folks. And yet, our world, our world is quite different now than the world of that first century, of that first century of Jesus' birth. It's easy for us to assume that we sort of have it figured out, that we, that we sort of have a clear idea as to what was going on, but quite frankly, even, even our best sort of guesses don't quite align. One can't truly begin to understand what must have been going through Joseph's mind when he first got word of Mary being with child. Oh sure, we, we can make some assumptions about what that would have been like, but at that time in Joseph's world, as he understood it, he was filled with fear. Fear not, not only for what would happen to Mary, what would happen to her child, but also what would happen to him. And what folks would think about his own sort of position within society. Joseph was afraid. He was probably sad and he was probably filled with some amount of anger too about the situation of which he had no control over. And in the middle of all that, in the middle of really high running emotions, the angel appears to Joseph in a dream. And like so many other angels before that time, the angel comes with these words. Do not be afraid. For Joseph, that, that may very well have been asking him to do the impossible. In his social context, in his time and place, to be told not to be afraid of the things that he had been taught from a young age to be afraid of would have been very difficult. And yet, the words that the angel gave to Joseph are also words that we need to hear in our world today. Especially when we live in a time where it seems like almost every day we either open up the newspaper or turn on the TV and there's something that makes us anxious or afraid or worried. We need to remember the words of the angel too. We need to remember that the words to not be afraid are for us too. For Joseph... It seemed as though his world was being turned upside down. And for we, who are living in times of great transition and change, we can feel as though everything is being turned upside down every day. 
And yet the words, do not be afraid, are still being echoed. For Joseph, the words were intimately about understanding that what happening in that time, that what was going on was something that God was intimately a part of, that the Lord Jesus Christ himself, Emmanuel, God with us, was being born into that world in a way that was taboo, in a way that would have been unexpected, in a way that would have made even the most proud of people feel shame. And yet God was with them. And God was in the moment. And for us, some 2,000 years removed, in a world that seems to be filled with uncertainty and great expectations and also great fears, we too are called to remember that Emmanuel, God with us, is in these moments too. That even the moments when we feel the most disconnected or the most concerned or the most really afraid of what may come next, we are called to know the peace that comes from the angel's words. That indeed, God is with us. And we need not be afraid. I wish that in our world today it was as clear and simple as it seems to be in this story that we have this morning. That, that the clouds could just part and the angels could descend and we could hear those words booming in our ears. And yet we are called to be faithful having not had the experience. We're called to have hope in words that were promised so long ago and to live as though we have just heard them for the first time. And yeah, yeah, it can be scary. It can make us uncertain and it can make us very afraid not knowing what's going to come next not knowing if the hope that we long for will be there. And yet, the promise continues to ring through. The promise that was given by the angel so long ago and the prophets before that still rings true. Look. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And if all of those generations of the faithful before us could have clinged to those words, could have held those things in their heart even when they had no certainty of anything else, then we those who are bold enough to call ourselves children of God, bold enough to recognize ourselves as members of the body of Christ, we too can have faith. We too can be bold in the witness that indeed God who is coming is also here and now. And that nothing in this world, nothing that could ever be imagined in this world could ever separate us from the grace that is born anew and that has come and is planning to come again. Our Lord Jesus Christ. May this Advent, which is ending real soon, continue to stir your hearts and your minds in wonderment of what God has done and continues to do and provide you with that peace that comes from our Lord Jesus Christ as innocent and unexpected as he may have been. So that wherever we go, no matter how 
our days go from here, we may know that God has been with us and continues to be with us. And ultimately, Lord, gather us together with all of the saints to rest in God's heavenly banquet that has no end. Thanks be to God. Amen.